Hello Capricorn, welcome to your love reading. This is gonna be the 411 on your connection. Everything that you wanna know about what's going on in your connection, how you feel about each other, what are some hidden factors or things that you need to know, and where is it all headed? That's gonna be in this reading. All right, so let's jump right into your reading for Capricorn. Spirits, angels, guides, what is going on for Capricorn in love? Capricorn, this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. So just take what resonates for your situation. Uh, feel free to check out your other placements as well, your moon, your rising sign, any other sign of significance to see if you get any other additional messages. And I'll make sure to link all of the playlists in the description box for each of the signs. Um, that way you can find your other signs easily. All right, so let's see what we have. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, please. For Capricorn, what is going on for Capricorn in love? Okay, so what's going on in your connection right now? We have the Four of Swords and the Ten of Swords. My goodness, okay. So something clearly happened here. Um, what do we need to know about this? Any insight? The star, Aquarius energy. The Wheel of Fortune Reverse. Okay, how do you feel about this person? Knight of Pentacles. Ten of Wands Reverse. How do they feel about you? Three of Swords. And the World. <laughs> Interesting. What do you need to know? Um, any hidden factors? Anything happening uh, behind the scenes? We have the Three of Pentacles. Two of Swords Reverse. And where is all of this headed? Justice Reverse, Libra Energy. Eight of Cups, wow, okay. All right, Capricorn, bottom of the deck and the reason why all of this is happening, the root, the foundation is the Eight of Swords Reverse. So someone becoming free of fear, free of the mental prison they find themselves in, no longer feeling stuck or held back is why this is all happening. Okay, Capricorn, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, this is gonna be a complicated reading and it will definitely not resonate with a lot of you because the energies here are so strong and I, I just get this sense of finality. Um, the energy that I'm picking up here is almost like, I don't know, it, it's, it's, it's an energy where it's like there's not, any other way you can interpret it. I hope that makes sense. Um, so we're gonna clarify all of these just to get some insight, but that's just what I'm picking up from the get-go. Clarity, please, Spirit, for Capricorn regarding love. What do we need to know about this situation for Capricorn? Can you give us some insight, please, for Capricorn? So first I wanna look at um, the why. Why is all of this happening? We have the Eight of Swords reverse. Let's start there. Tell me about this Eight of Swords reverse. What is this Eight of Swords reverse about, Spirit? Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Tell me about the Eight of Swords reverse. Tell me about the Eight of Swords reverse. No, I got two, two of cups, and then the devil. There you are, Capricorn. Um, your energy showing up here. But again, you know, the devil is a card also about restriction. So feeling stuck, um, it's, you know, and I have it here with the two of cups too. This could be a karmic partnership. Um, it could be a situation within a partnership here. I feel like someone broke free of a partnership or a difficult situation. Um, or it could be both, a difficult partnership. Um, and that makes sense because I have the Ten of Swords here. Um, I have the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck and the Eight of Cups, exactly. The Eight of Cups showed up down here as well in the outcome. So I feel like this is someone that is leaving a situation. This could be you, this could be your partner, but this is the why things are happening. Someone I feel is leaving a difficult situation and it's setting a bunch of things in motion. Uh, what's currently happening is some sort of ending, a betrayal, a difficult ending, 
um, a situation where maybe there needs to be healing or perhaps someone is healing from a difficult situation. Let's see, why is the Four of Swords here with the Ten of Swords? Why is the Four of Swords here with the Ten of Swords? The Star, and the Star showed up here as well. Aquarius energy, so healing. I feel like someone is healing you or your person or both of you or trying to heal. Tell me about the Four of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Tell me about the Four of Swords, please. The Hermit Virgo energy. I feel like someone's seeking healing. I don't think they found it. I think this is someone that is 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 alone and trying to find hope or healing after a difficult situation. Um, it's almost like someone's trying to find the light at the end of the tunnel here or trying to find the positive side of things. And it could be that someone is seeking to heal this connection because I do have the star that showed up again down here with the wheel reversed. Um, so I almost get this sense that somebody might want to heal this. Um, I have the world on your person's side. So it's almost like a new beginning here, a new cycle that they might want to start. We'll see. Tell me about the star. Can I get one more please for the star? Why is the star here? Knight of Pentacles again. So we're getting similar cards or repeating cards, which tells me like the message is confirmed basically. Um, I feel like someone is trying to bring an offer here to you because they want to fix things or because they're trying to, you know, begin again or have a start here. Um, this Knight of Pentacles is a card, not a, well, yeah, it's a card, but it's an energy of someone um, taking their time, not taking a lot of risk. Um, they're bringing you this offer. Hold on. I'm okay. <coughs> they're bringing you this offer because they've taken their time to, to, to get to this point, to give you this, this offer. So it's a very serious offer and one that holds a lot of weight. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune reverse. I feel like some, something has not been going well. Um, the wheel is not turning, the wheel is stuck. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune reverse. This is another 10, by the way. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reverse? Knight of Wands. I feel like someone wants to make a move, but they can't. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reverse? Why is the Wheel of Fortune reverse? Three of Wands. Yeah, they're waiting to make a move. They can't right now because the wheel is stuck. And the wheel is stuck possibly because it, there's no, there's, it's almost like they're having hopes or faith or a wish for things to turn around, for this wheel to turn around. And this could be you or your person. Tell me about the star. Tell me about the star. Why is the star here? Queen of Swords. Why is the star here? The moon. Pisces energy. So what I'm getting here is almost like the truth, um, clearing things up, clearing out the doubt, the confusion, whatever is secret, whatever is hidden underneath the surface, someone wants to get to the bottom of it or clear it up, clear the air. That's kind of what I'm picking up here. Um, and I feel like they want to do that so that they can heal this connection so that there can be some sort of renewal. Um, they're hoping for the best outcome here. So let's see what the energies are between you and this person. Spirit, what are the energies here between Capricorn and the person they are dealing with or thinking about at this time? What are the energies between Capricorn and this other person? Tell me about Capricorn's energy. Tell me about Capricorn's energy. What energy are they bringing to this connection? 
What energy? Restoring balance, resolution, harmony, stability. Balance is being restored. So you might want to fix this Capricorn. Um, I don't feel like that's the case for all of you, but I think some of you might definitely be open to, to trying to restore balance here. Or it could be that this offer this person's bringing you once again is because they wanna restore balance. And so you're kind of considering it, thinking about it. Tell me about the person that Capricorn is dealing with. What energy are they bringing to this connection? Okay, we have pure seduction, lust, temptation, desire. You're being tempted to give in to your desires. So this is kind of like the devil card of my deck. So I feel like this person's motivated is what I'm getting is reminding me of this Knight of Wands. They're very, um, they desire you or at least they desire something very strongly. I feel also like this person is hurting with the Three of Swords here. Um, because of what's happened and it could be their own fault. I don't think it really matters whose fault it is. I think they f feel bad no matter, you know, where the blame really lies. But I think this person is not letting this Three of Swords stop them from having a new beginning. Another thing I'm getting here is like, I feel like a lot of you Capricorns are just walking away from this and freeing yourselves from this person. Because you have the Ten of Wands reverse, and in the outcome I have the Eight of Cups, and then I have someone being free of a situation. So it very well could be that a lot of you are considering dropping this burden and moving on. And so your person seeing you move on, it hurts them. So I do see that as a possibility here, but I also am picking up that you know, this could be that someone is just very hurt with what's happened because something has ended here. There has been something difficult that has happened in this connection. Okay, let's jump back into the clarifying here. So let's look at this Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Reverse. I feel like this person is definitely going to make you some sort of offer, proposition, promise, Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles with the Ten of Wands reverse. Nine of Pentacles. See, I see you being free, independent, looking great, being your being great, basically. And I feel like you attract this other person or this other person desires you. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands reverse. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Reverse, yeah, Ten of Wands, Three of Cups. So I feel like some of you just want to be free of this burden. There could have been another person involved with the Three of Cups, or it's just too much for you to think about to come back together with this person. If you are considering a reunion, I feel like a lot of you that think about returning to this connection it's almost like it's too much for you to think about it's too overwhelming or there's just too much that has already happened that can't be ignored maybe it hasn't even been addressed and so for you it's almost like going back into this ten of wands which you are ready to drop because i have the ten of wands reversed here tell me about the three of swords and the world Why is the Three of Swords here? Well, actually, tell me about the world. Let's start there. Tell me about the world. What's this world about? Why is the world here? The world clarified by the world. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups. So see, this is what I mean. I almost get the sense that someone wants to apologize and start over. Tell me about this Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? The Chariot, Cancer Energy. I feel like they want to make a move here. Or perhaps they're, they're, they're heartbroken over a move. You know what I mean? I still get that energy. Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck with the Magician. Making something happen despite being fearful or, you know, trying to manifest something. Um... Interesting that the Eight of Swords is here when the Eight of Swords is reversed. 
over there. It's interesting. It's, you know, I'm almost getting, and I know this is going to sound crazy, but it's almost like someone wants another person to be stuck. Like someone's manifesting being stuck or being like tied up in a way. It's just, that's weird energy. I hope that that's not the case. I hope I'm just picking up that. If that is the case, I hope it's only for a small number of you. Okay, so let's go back here to this um, Three of Swords. Can I get one more for the Three of Swords? Can I get one more, please, for this Three of Swords? Page of Wands. So movement, right? Action. Someone taking... Oh my God, there's the Eight of Swords again. The Eight of Swords is important, but I can't really pick up why it would show up. Um, let me focus back on <laughs> Let me focus back here. So we have the Three of Swords, which is a card about heartache, disappointment, um, difficulty. Uh, and then I have the Chariot and the Page of Wands. So it's almost like this person wants to do something because they're so heartbroken. They want to take some action. They want to do something. They want to make a move. Uh, this is not somebody that wants to sit around, um, but I feel like they, they're forced to wait to make a move is almost what I'm picking up here because there's some, something has stopped. Some, the wheel has stopped turning. Um, maybe this would have been easier to do before all of this happened, but now that there's all of this uh, Ten of Swords, Four of Swords energy, it's not as easy for this person to make their move. Okay, so, and what you need to know, we have the Three of Pentacles and the Two of Swords Reverse. So Two of Swords Reverse could be a card about um, making a difficult decision. So you finally have chosen something. Um, and then the Three of Pentacles is a card about working together, building. Um, it could indicate a third person. So let's see what's this about. Tell me about the Two of Swords Reverse. This is in the what do you need to know hidden factors position. Why is the two of swords reverse? What's this about? Ace of swords communication. Tell me about the three of pentacles. Ten of pentacles. Tell me about the three of pentacles. I feel like there's multiple people here. Tell me about the three of pentacles. Or this could be about building something that has a long term, you know, outcome what, what's the three of pentacles doing here spirit what's this about with the three of pentacles the tower jesus it's almost like a tower has happened which i feel like that is the case um this does feel like big energy here and and, and it's like someone wants to work on it you know once again i get this this in this energy of someone wanting to talk Clear the air, Ace of Swords. Um, there's a difficult decision that has been made to talk. So maybe this person um, was blocked from talking and now is no longer blocked. Or, um, you know, they were fearful of speaking up and now they're not fearful. They've finally decided to open up, uh, clear the air, etc. This tower is not easy. And, you know, in the outcome here, I have Justice Reverse and Eight of Cups. There's only one way you can really interpret that. Something is not fair and someone's walking away because of that. Um, I feel like this is someone that's literally fed up. And this could be you, Capricorn. Um, I'm not sure what's going on here, but I feel like this energy, I feel like what, as soon as I saw those two cards, that, that was the only way that I could interpret these energies. Someone's walking away because something's not right not balanced not fair not just it's unjust it's unfair etc 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 and so i feel like this is a very you know this is why i said it won't resonate with every capricorn because i feel like some of you would definitely be willing to try again with this person um maybe i don't know maybe some of you decided to walk away for now but there's someone definitely walking away here i mean that, that is just very clear so let's see. Tell me about Justice Reverse and the Eight of Cups. Tell me about Justice Reverse and the Eight of Cups. Why is Justice Reverse here with the Eight of Cups? 
the Emperor, Aries energy. Tell me about Justice Reverse and the Eight of Cups. This is someone taking charge. No longer letting emotions guide them. This is someone that's being very decisive. Um, and, you know, they're, they're thinking about stability, making things. Yeah, it, I feel like this is someone that's just over the drama, the conflict, over the situation with multiple people, with the Five of Wands here. You know, it's almost like I need to take control of this situation because this has gotten out of control. Can I get one more for the Justice card reverse here with the Eight of Cups? Knight of Cups. See, this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that a lot of you that are ready to, and there's the Four of Swords again, a lot of you that are ready to move on, I feel like this other person you're dealing with is going to want to show up and stop you from moving on. Um, I think they're they're wanting to, it's like you're not on the same page. So they're wanting to fix this, restore balance, and I don't think that you are 100% thinking about that. I'm actually starting to think that this restoring balance is more like your internal balance. Like you want to find peace within yourself, with, you know, restore peace to your life, because maybe it's just been too hectic. Maybe this whole situation has been super stressful, super unfair to you. Maybe you've been mistreated, misjudged, whatever the case may be. And I feel like you're just kind of sick of it. That's, I, I really feel like a lot of you, that's the energy. Um, obviously it won't be all of you, but the majority of you, I feel very strongly that's the energy. You're walking away because you're tired of this. You're freeing yourself of this whole situation. And I feel like once you decide to do that, this other person, I don't think they'll have an easy time accepting that. I just, I get, I get the sense that they're going to want to at least try to convince you otherwise or tell you, you know, what do you want to know? I'll tell you everything. I'll be open and honest. I'll, I'll commit to you, et cetera, et cetera. Yes. Yeah, the energy that I'm picking up here for a lot of you. I hope that this resonated or that you enjoyed the reading Capricorn. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing so that you can see more videos from me in the future. Uh, thank you so much for your support, your comments, and um, your shares, your subscribes. I really appreciate it. Um, if you want to say hi or share how the story resonated, feel free to do so in the comments because I love hearing from you guys. And yeah, I'll leave it there Capricorn. Uh, thank you so much for watching once again and take care.